Hello friends, DK this side. US stock market is rocking. Extremely bullish market. We earlier discussed on this channel when NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index made all time high. Now in the last week, broader market index S&P 500 has made two year high, breaking its earlier lifetime high record which it made in January 2022. This paves the way for the US stock market for a substantial rise on upside because there is a breakout of a rounding pattern in S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Will the market go in a straight line upside? Absolutely not because market always moves up or moves down in a wavel formation. The only thing what we can say that the wave going upside would be an impulsive wave, would be a larger wave and the corrective wave would be shallow one, a smaller one in comparison to that of impulsive wave. So in this video, we will undertake the technical analysis of S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to fix the support and resistance levels which market might respect in the upcoming week. Friends, do not forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's begin. In the last week, when market closed on 19th January 2024, S&P 500, the broader market index was up by 1.17%. NASDAQ 100 was up by 2.86%, where NASDAQ 100 has clearly outperformed the broader market index S&P 500. Dow Jones Industrial Average Index was up by 0.27%. So all across the US market, bulls dominated the market in the last week. Before we go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis, let us check out what market sentiments prevailed over the past week. This is the fear and greed index with respect to S&P 500 index. It currently reads post closing of the market in the last week at 72. So it is in greed zone. One week ago, it was reading at 71. So the market sentiments remained greedy over the past week. There is hardly any change in the broader market sentiments. Now let us check the stock market momentum. This particular moving average is simple moving average 125 period. And currently S&P 500 is trading far away on upside with respect to the simple moving average 125 period, which means the market momentum is extremely good and the market momentum indicates that the market is an extreme greed zone. Now let us check the put call options and check the PCR. What does PCR means? Put call ratio. We are checking the put call ratio 5 day average against S&P 500 index. Currently, it reads at 0.91. Current reading is 0.91, which means it is less than 1. What does it mean? That the bulls are still dominating in the market and market is still greedy based on this particular indicator. Now, let us check the volatility in the market. This is VIX and we are comparing it with 50-day moving average. Currently, more or less, 50-day moving average and VIX uh, is almost kissing to each other. So, this is indicating that the market is neutral. Willing to succeed in the stock market? Join DK's Diamond Club channel membership for fundamental and technical analysis. Learn strategies and risk management to stay ahead of the curve. 
Join now and attend our weekly meetings every Sunday. Let us now begin the technical analysis to arrive at the possible support and resistance levels for the upcoming week and understand the price action in the market. This is the price chart of S&P 500 index in weekly time frame. The index in the last week closed finally at 4839.82 thereby it was bullish by 1.17% on week to week basis. We can see the very beautifully upcoming rounding pattern and then finally in the last week it gave a breakout of the lifetime high it made in the month of January 2022. So currently S&P 500 is trading at two years high, which is very, very significant. At the same time, we can see price structure is higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure indicating that the bulls are well under control. Now let me superimpose some of the technical studies, which I've already done. Now the earlier all time high for S&P 500 was 4818.62 which it has made in the month of January 2022 and now it has closed higher than this. So there is a breakout of this rounding pattern which paves the way for S&P 500 to a much higher level. Further let me draw one trend line to explain the price action. I have drawn this trend line. This trend line is very very significant. Let me fine tune. So this trend line becomes very very significant trend line because it has a touch point here, resistance here and then after it has given a breakout this trend line acted as a support. So in future too this trend line is likely to provide dynamic support to S&P 500. If you closely look at this trend line this is nothing but the neckline of the inverse head and shoulder. This is the left shoulder, head formation, right shoulder and there is a breakout. So we have many ways to arrive at the possible long term target for S&P 500. So now let us first calculate the target on the basis of this rounding pattern. I am projecting the target. So the long term target is coming at first target is coming at 5777 then it has a potential to go to 6500 level which means if i see from the current level what could be the potential returns the first target is likely to give a return to a tune of 17 to 18 percent from the current market price while if i project to the second target the next level is coming at 32 point uh, 6 4 percent higher than the current market price. So quite an upside cushion is there. We all know targets for any chart pattern is a minimum expected object. Price may still go higher. So the best way in this kind of scenario is to ride the trend and trail the stop loss unless you encounter some kind of distribution pattern. Now let us check the momentum. What momentum is indicating? RSI is above 60, taking support at 60, typical characteristics of the momentum indicator RSI in bullish territory. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the price action and fix the resistance and support level for the forthcoming week. Now this is the daily price chart. What we can see, the market structure is higher highs, a small correction consolidation rather I would put it uh, as a time correction then impulse shallow pullback price took support on EMA 21 once again a shallow pullback price took support on EMA 21. So one thing is clear in the short term horizon uh, S&P 500 is respecting EMA 21 exponential moving average 21. Now once again it has given a breakout of a cup and handle pattern which is a continuation chart pattern. So based on the overall market structure, here we can see the breakout of a bullish flag as well. So if I calculate the target on the basis of bullish flag, this is the prior impulsive wave and there is a breakout of bullish flag. 
So the next possible move could be to in short term to 4863 and then to 4900 uh, and these are the two uh, values uh, respectively for 61.8 percent expansion level to 100 percent expansion level. As far as support is concerned, even the lifetime, earlier lifetime I had 4818. So 4800 becomes a good base. However, based on the price action, this was the area of a multiple price rejection. And here there is a minor gap that edges. So 4769 to 4783 becomes a good support in S&P 500. So overall structure is bullish. Even if the correction takes place, I'll draw one trend line. This trend line is very, very important because it has a support here, support here, support here. So this trend line has a three touch points indicating this is an established trend line uh, indicating the dynamic support in S&P 500. And in future also, if the correction takes place, this trend line might act as a good support and this trend line is intervening this important demand area that we have arrived from the uh, from the zone 4769 to 4783 so overall structure in s&p 500 is extremely bullish now let us go to the price chart of nasdaq 100 to undertake the technical analysis this is the weekly price chart of nasdaq 100 the index in the last week closed at 17,314, thereby it was bullish by 2.86% on a week to week basis. A massive outperformance by Nasdaq 100 over S&P 500. Here too, there is a breakout of a rounding pattern. And this is more than two years rounding pattern, which is very, very significant. And now you can see over here, the price was facing some kind of resistance in this area but finally it broke out of this resistance zone let me superimpose some of the technical studies in the last saturday when we came up with the us stock market weekly analysis video we talked about the first possible target of 17100 this target has been hit in the last week so next possible move based on the wave analysis is 17,600 level. These all targets are quite notional and they are the minimum expected objective uh, based on the technical studies. But if I calculate a long term target based on this rounding pattern, let us calculate this target on the basis of rounding pattern. The target comes at uh, 21,800 is the first possible target but it has a potential to go to 100% expansion level which calculates to 25,830. So quite a sizable upside move is possible in NASDAQ 100. If I want to uh, check the possible return at the first target, it is coming at nearly 25% and to the second target, it has a cushion to give a return of 47-48%. We all know targets are always the minimum expected objective. The best strategy is to write the trend. Here too, I can draw one trend line. Let me draw and then explain you. This is a very important trend line. This trend line was acting as a resistance. We can see the multiple price rejection. And finally, it, it has given, the Nasdaq 100 has given the decisive breakout of this rising trend line which is nothing but the neckline of inverse head and shoulder. This is the left shoulder, this is the head, this is the right shoulder and a breakout. So any follow through of the high of NASDAQ 100 in the last week, which is at 17,317.21, will propel the price to much higher because there is a breakout of a bullish fag also with respect to the prior well-defined impulsive wave. If we check the momentum indicator, what we can find RSI here too is above 60 and taking support at 60, which is a typical characteristics of momentum indicator that is RSI. Force index is in bullish territory. So overall structure and momentum is indicating a very positive upside move in NASDAQ 100. Can I 
draw one more trend line. If I draw this trend line, there is a breakout of a rising wedge also, which has a very good base over here. So quite a substantial and potential upside move is there in NASDAQ 100. Now let us go to the daily price chart. This is the daily price chart. Market structure is higher highs and higher lows. Market was facing some kind of rejection in this area. So there is a breakout of a continuation chart pattern also that is cup and handle pattern. And in the recent time, price has respected EMA 21 and volume weighted moving average period 21. So overall structure is looking quite robust and bullish. If I calculate the target based on the last impulsive wave, here I am projecting the target. I have already told next possible move could be to in excess of 17,600. So where is the support and resistance uh, in the forthcoming week? Let us understand based on the price action. Now let me first tell you that it has a lifetime high over here at 16,764.85 which it has made in November 2021. This becomes a good base because there is an existence of a gap also. So this becomes a good base for NASDAQ 100. Now coming back to the immediate support area, there is a immediate gap here also. So there is a gap number one, gap number two. So this gap will provide a good support in the upcoming week in a range of 17,000 to 17,100. And even if it goes a little below, then this is the multiple time price got rejected. So 16,900 was a resistance should act as a support in the upcoming week. As far as upside uh, level is concerned, there is a breakout of uh, this bullish flag. So if I calculate the target based on bullish flag, next possible move could be to 17,600. But it has a potential to go uh, still higher. Why did I say? Because if I calculate the target based on this impulsive wave, then the target is coming at 17,772. So we can say 17,602, 17,800 is the possible resistance levels. I won't say resistance because since it is trading at an all time high, there is no price action based resistance. So we can only arrive the possible supply area based on the wave analysis. So the next week supply area arrives at 17,600 to 17,800. Overall structure in NASDAQ 100 is extremely bullish. If we check the momentum indicator here too, uh, RSI has taken support at 60 level and bouncing off typical characteristics of the RSI where the RSI is not going below 40 level. Here if we check the force index, eldest force index also showed the sharp jump from the level of Juro. So it is in a bullish territory. So overall structure in NASDAQ 100 is extremely bullish. Now let us go to the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to undertake the technical analysis. This is the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index in weekly time frame. The index in the last week closed at 37,863.81. Thereby it was bullish by 0.72% on a week to week basis. Here too we can see it has made an all time high over here. In the month of January 2022 at 36,952.65. Now the price has given breakout of this level and since past four or five weeks it is trading above this important level. So there is a breakout of rounding bottom pattern here too. And uh, these all indicates that the US stock market is looking extremely bullish. So on a long term horizon if I calculate the target on the basis of this breakout the next possible move of uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average first target is coming at 41,900 and then it has a potential to move to 45,700 level. So if I calculate the possible return based on the target 1 and target 2 from the current market price the target 1 gives a return of around 10 percent and then target 2 is likely to give a return of in excess of 20 percent these all targets are minimum expected objective now here too if i uh, overall look a price structure and draw a trend line i am drawing a trend line 
This is very, very significantly important. This was a very long term resistance area. Price got rejected, got rejected, got rejected and finally gave a breakout over here. So price expansion was indicated by the price action in the month of November 2023 itself. Then the price consolidated and traded in a narrow range in the month of December 2023 and then finally it started a uh, upside move very decisively in December 2023. Overall structure is bullish. If we check the momentum indicator, RSI is above 60 and uh, overall structure is looking good. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action and arrive at the possible support and supply area in the forthcoming week. Here too the market structure is extremely bullish. Price consolidated was in range bound for several days here and finally it is coming out of the range. So the next possible immediate move could be to, uh, based on the wave analysis, I'm talking about the wave analysis of this prior impulsive wave. In the last session, we discussed about the uh, possible target of 38,160. It remains intact and the next possible move could be to 38,700. So in the upcoming week, the supply zone is from 38,160 to 38,700 while it has formed a good base based on the price action. Can you see here price support? price uh, support over here. So 37,572 and another level is 37,500. So in fact 37,500 is a good support. Even if it goes below 37,500, there is an extremely great support where the price has taken multiple support here at 37,200. What I mean to say there is uh, uh, not a deeper correction which looks possible in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Overall structure is bullish. Even if the correction takes place, it could be possibly a shallow correction like range bound movement. It happened here too and now the price is coming out of this important level. Overall structure in S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index and Nasdaq 100 is extremely bullish. So overall, US market is really rocking and is likely to uh, you know, move much, much, especially rounding bottom pattern of two year, giving a breakout decisively in S&P 500, Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. So based on the technical analysis, it is quite obvious that we have a rounding bottom kind of pattern extending for two years or more in S&P 500, Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index which means there is a possible upside move in the US stock market and the market is likely to remain bullish in near future. Friends, I'll be expecting your comments in the comment section of this video, whether you have liked this analysis and whether this weekly analysis of the US stock market that comes on this channel every Saturday helps you in any way. Friends, give a lot of thumbs up to this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.